This is part two of my QA. If you haven't watched the first part, go watch the first part. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Next question, where did you go for high school? I went to two high schools, British International School, Livingston Colorado College, which are both, they are both three okay schools in my opinion. I enjoyed British International School way more because I was allowed to put up in any fucking thing I wanted to wear. Anyway, next question, pick up line at the top of your head. My ideal pick up line would be, Skateboarding, then I see Lame passing by, then I just skate towards her, her direction so as to pass in front of her. Then, as soon as I'm passing in front of her, I drop myself or make myself fall, then I stand up and I'm on sun. <laughs> What's your name, baby girl? Because I think I'll fail for you. Next question How do you keep a girl's hand happy without having a money or a car? And money, I'd say you should do it how I do it. I mean, I don't have money, I don't have a car. How do I do it? It's all about showing the person love. It's not even hard, bro. Let me tell you, and I love my heart. I'd say it's the simple things, dog. It's not even about materialistic shit. I'm telling you guys how I keep my hand happy because I can't keep all the hands happy. So I'm telling you how I keep my hand happy. No money or a car. Nah, I just show her love. Love. She just needs to be reassured how she is love. Talk to her every day, every chance you get. I talk to my hand when I'm at group. I call my hand when I'm at group. It's the simple thing that you guys are missing out on. You guys think it's all about the materialistic shit. She knows the bag will come. And when the bag does come, best believe she's getting spoiled like a motherfucker. But yeah, I'm gonna just keep my hand happy by showing her that I love her. Actions speak louder than fucking words show her that you love her how do you show her you don't need a car to show her that you love her if you're busy let her know that you're busy if you're running late let her know what you're running late just check up on her during the day i talk to my aunt 24 7 so i don't really check up on her but when i don't talk to her i check up on her i can call my man when i'm a group check up on her call your heart i call my hand every night it's very 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 important that you tell your girl that you love them Tell them that you love them. If you think it's not cool, if you think oh, hey, that's being a bitch boy, be a bitch boy, my nigga. But you're gonna be keeping your shorty happy. You feel me? Now I tell my hand what I love in front of my friends on phone calls. Every phone call won't end without I love you. Dog, show her. Show her that you actually do love her. If you have money, cool. If you're a rich boy, cool. Spoil your shorty. If that's how you show her love, show her love that way. Hey, but that's what I do. Now I don't spend money because I ain't got no money. I'm getting out the mud, but once I get out the mud. My shot, my shot. She wants snag, go get it. She wants snag, go get it. She wants the spinny, go get it. She wants the break, go get it. She wants this cookie, she get it. She wants this little, go get it. Baby girl, that's your song, my baby. I love you, baby. Next question we have is Do you believe in love at first sight? No. I don't know. Nah. I don't. I've never seen it happen to anybody. I've never heard of anybody say it happened to them. I've only seen it in movies. I don't believe it when you see a type of person. So until I see it, I don't think I'll ever believe it. I don't know though. Next question. Can I shoot my shot? Just asking if I can. Not that I would. Yes, you can. Can. I'm just saying you can. It's a question based on ability. So I'm gonna say yes, you can. I don't know if it'll go in. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll even hit the rim. But yes, you can. It's a question of ability. I believe you can. I believe you can. Next question How much money are you making right now on YouTube? I'm making zero bucks. I haven't even reached a threshold. Next question Why do you have braces when your teeth were perfect? Now, let me tell you the truth about my perfect teeth. They were not perfect. My friend said both the upper teeth and the lower teeth were perfect. Then my back teeth were the issue, and the number of teeth apparently were an issue. I had more than enough teeth. See, I had to remove four teeth. The reason why I got the braces is because, first of all, I had to remove four teeth. So so how was I gonna close those gaps? They were not gonna close themselves. The second reason was because my two back teeth, the ones on the bottom jaws and on the upper jaws, these two, they curved inwards or like turning inwards or like facing inwards. I'm not gonna show you because I'm not. You wouldn't be able to see when I'm smiling. No matter how hard I smile. Next question. Which of your homies, girls, stroke exes would you do? Answer honestly. If I'm keeping it up with you, the question is which of, meaning you want a name. I'm not giving you a name because 
have a girlfriend just to respect the relationship so i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that i can't do that but i will say this though i wouldn't do craig's girls because he has a taste that i don't like now i don't have a type but he definitely has a type that i don't want but i don't have a type but he has the type that i don't want so i wouldn't do craig's girls i'm not talking about his girlfriends by the way i just wouldn't do craig's girls i'll probably do like malcolm's girls most likely malcolm's girls but i wouldn't do craig's girls that's for sure bro. anyways next question is how you and your girl end up together she shot a shot on instagram next question will you ever eat your girlfriend's ass if it were to save a relationship bro i would eat her ass anyway but she's clean as fuck like it's like the least of my worries i'd eat her ass if she enjoyed it i would do it if she enjoyed it like if she had ever done it before and she thought it was nice i would do it because she's clean next question favorite local artist or brand my favorite local artist would be nah not would be is panda bw panda bw check his instagram and his soundcloud i'll put a link to his music in my um that thing that thing the description next question what motivates you what keeps you going during tough times very simple things you guys should have apps like Pinterest. Pinterest is amazing. I follow positive things only because I feel like that's the only social media where I can filter what I want on the timeline. Instagram, the people you follow choose what's going to be on your feed. Twitter, same thing. Facebook, same thing. Basically, I stay away from social media as much as I can. Don't get me wrong when I say people on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter choose what goes on your timeline because you can also decide who you follow. You can decide who you want to add as a friend. But for me, nah, it just doesn't work out for me. Nice thing of social media. That's one thing that keeps me sane. So my girlfriend keeps me in headstrong. She reminds me why I started the shit that I'm doing, why I do what I do. She talks to me. She makes sure I'm straight in the head. She keeps me in check. I need her. I need her. I need her. Last but not least work on your motherfucking mindset bruh work on your mindset you guys always remember where you fucking started always remember where you fucking started if you need somebody to remind you why you started find somebody that will help you remind you why you started i have a friend called Letcher. i prefer to call him el chapo and i have a friend called el chapo if it wasn't for him you guys wouldn't even see these videos from high school he be knew that i wanted to start a youtube channel and I didn't, I never did. I posted four videos with four videos. That was last year with four videos. I grew over a thousand subscribers. This nigga was like, yo, dog, I know your shit could blow up, bruh. With four videos, you have a K subscribers. Four videos. I'm gonna repeat that. Four videos. He kept saying that to me. But then I was like, dog, why am I sleeping on myself? Why am I sleeping on myself? Because he reminded me of a dog. You're good at this shit too. You be wanting to do this shit. Just do it. Shout out to El Chapo. Go follow his IG, bruh. Cause if it wasn't for him, bruh, motherfuckers wouldn't see this video, bruh. Next question. Do you wash your anus or just don't bother cleaning it? Lorraine, I wash my anus, bruh. Who the fuck doesn't wash their anus? That's unhygienic. Let's step out of my man. Don't do that, y'all. Be hygienic, bruh. Come on. Next question. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? The most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me? I don't think I have an embarrassing moment or like instances where I was embarrassed. But I used to pee in bed all the time. All the time. Was it embarrassing? No, not really because nobody knew. <laughs> oh yeah, it would get embarrassing like when I have to go sleep over at my at my cousin's house and like my cousins would want to sleep with me because they knew I wet the blankets. That's when it got embarrassing, but like nah nah nah. Generally, nah, it never got embarrassing for me. I don't have embarrassing moments. But I used to wet the blankets. I stopped like in grade four. Hey, I'm tripping. Yo, I stopped in like grade um grade seven. No, yeah. I stopped in like grade seven, dog. Like I didn't pee my blankets every day, but it would happen like like three times in a month, bro. It was bad, yo. It was bad. Guys, roast me. You can fucking roast me, bro. Um, yeah, it wasn't embarrassing. Oh, when I went for my standard seven trip to Namibia, bro, bro. When I tell you that trip was 
everything to me it meant everything why i had a girlfriend i could not i could not i could not pee the fucking blankets and then next day have my girlfriend know that i pee the blankets so what i did was that whole trip i shared a bed with i think prince or the power i'm not sure and what i would do is i set an alarm to go and pee at like 2 a.m and then like 5 a.m every day and i did and i didn't pee the blankets that way nobody found out welcome to my world next question do you have any phobias yeah i have arachnophobia i fear spiders a lot i'll do anything uh, i just want to touch a spider you feel me? my girlfriend has to kill the spider i guess i'll get over it dog i get over it i'm shit scared of spiders like shit scared of spiders dog i even have pictures holding snakes on my neck at 13 i'll do anything I'll put a python on my neck, but I'm scared of spiders, bruh. Next question. Body count. It doesn't count anymore because I've cancelled it. Next question. Weird food combinations. If you guys don't know, nah, I really like moto. I love moto. Like, I really love moto. But anyways, I'd say porridge with peanut butter and sugar. That's one combination. Porridge with peanut butter, sugar, and milk. Another combination. Porridge with margarine, sugar. That's a combination. Then another combination. Porridge with mayo and sugar. That's another combination. Motoho with yogurt and sugar. That's another combination. Next question. What motivated you to start a YouTube channel? Guys, I've always wanted to do YouTube since like from before. I thought like the YouTubers that I wanted to watch that are in Botswana, they didn't bring the content that I wanted to watch. So what I ended up doing was, now I'm just gonna bring the content that I wanna watch to be there. That's how I got here. Next question. Why did you post one video on YouTube then disappear for years? Guys, I got in a very dark spot. That's what happened, guys. I cannot explain it, but I'm back and I'm back to stay. I'm back. Subscribe. Next question. What would you do if one day you went to your best buddy's house and found your crush lambing on the bed naked sweetheart it's over say goodbye next question what's the one thing you would say to your ex if you had a chance i last dated a girl before lamy in form three so what am i gonna say to them i don't know what i'll say to my form three ex it wasn't even that deep next question would you rather quit alcohol or never ever have sex i don't even drink after marriage Thank you.